people sometimes tell me, well, you can't practice tuning. It's just years of experience. So here is my challenge to you. In case you change your drum heads once a year, let's say, you have to tune, right? So record just 20 seconds of your drum set with the old heads, take all of them off, put new ones on, tune them the best you can, record 20 seconds of that. Maybe you're happy with it now, but you still take all the heads off, put them on again, tune them the best you can, record them, take all of them off, and again, and again, and again, and again. Maybe you can do this five times in one hour. Maybe you have three hours time. If so, congratulations. You just got the tuning experience that you would normally get in 15 years, in three hours. Do that again the next day and you have the tuning experience of 30 years in two afternoons. <sighs> Try it. You don't need any tuning machines and devices. You just need your ears and a little bit of time. Have fun. Ah, the Remo Ambassador coded. It seems there's nothing that this head cannot do. But I want to show you a trick that you can use that gets you to different tunings so easily it's ridiculous. So when you have your snare drum tuned nicely in a high range, you can, by just using the two screws that are facing you, get to amazing sounds, including the deep, fat disco backbeat and everything in between. Check this out. Try it out and have fun. The Power Stroke 3 from Remo is the first choice of many for full bass drum sounds with a nice attack and a lot of low end. But I think that the versatility of this drum head is very underestimated. This thing is not only perfect for rock and pop bass drum sounds, but can serve you very well in many styles just by changing the tuning and the dampening. Here are some examples with the same Power Stroke 3, the same bass drum, Check it out. My favorite bass drum head on the market. Check it out. I have and use this one on a daily basis. The pro drum key from Remo is obviously for turning the screws with those wings out here like with every drum key and it just feels great in your hand for that purpose. But where this key really shines is in its ability to turn the screws so-called finger tight just turn at this black rubber sleeve up here till you can't anymore and by that you have a mechanical way to get to even tension around the drum and it's the perfect starting point for fine tuning. Super useful as well if you have to prepare your kit in a loud environment or when you are not allowed to make any noise yet. Many people don't realize that you can also put it into every drill. Don't use this for tuning but it's a super fast and easy way to remove drum heads quickly and when you put them on to get the tuning rods close to the drum hoop before getting them finger tight. Best drum key on the market. Thanks Remo. One thing I absolutely love about drum sound and recording is how drastically and quickly you can adjust the sound even without changing the head. The obvious way is of course tuning. Another one is dampening, different ways of dampening. My approach is to have an ambassador coded on the snare because I know that I can make it sound a million different ways. It's a great head that is very sensitive and suitable for all styles. You can't go wrong with that one. So check out what it can do. Open with a lot of ring and overtones. With gaffer tape. With more gaffer tape. With even more gaffer tape with a t-shirt, with a wallet. The possibilities are endless. Get the most out of your sound, experiment and have fun. See you next time.